Good afternoon and welcome to the Daily Market Update. The DSCX extended the red zone streak as it lost by 12.31 points or 0.19% today and settled at 6,401 points. Mega turnover was BDT 10.06 billion, which is a decrease of 22.49% compared to the previous trading day. Beacon Pharmaceuticals, Orion Pharma, Orion Infusion, Kohinoor Chemicals and Far Chemical Industries from the pharmaceutical sector, Index Agro Industries, Bexim Co, Stern Cables, Aftab Automobiles, Navana CNG, BBS Cables and Bangladesh Shipping Corporation from the industrial sector and Bidicom Online from the IT sector mainly dragged the market down today. In terms of sector-wise return, the food under light sector registered the highest gain of 0.54%, while the pharmaceutical sector posted the second highest gain of 0.22%. On the other hand, the IT sector posted the highest loss of 2.28%. Four pharmaceuticals and six industrial companies were among the top 20 losers today. JMI Syringes and Medical, Navana Pharmaceuticals and Anwar Galvanizing registered the highest gain, while the Peninsula Chittagong, Bidicom Online and Navana CNG Limited were the top losers. Investors exerted buying pressure on JMI Syringes and Medical since the company reported significant growth in its annual earnings compared to previous years. Nirvana Pharmaceuticals had the highest gain today as the stock made its trading debut today. On the other hand, the Peninsula Chirogong fell in value today due to the degrowth in their reported annual earnings. There is no publicly disclosed price-sensitive information for the price increase of the remaining stocks. The trading volume of JMI Syringes and Medical, Anwar Galvanizing and Berger Paints Bangladesh increased significantly today compared to the average trading volume of the last three months. There is no publicly disclosed fundamental reason for the volume increase of these stocks. Today's top two news. With Bangladesh's economic growth in recent years, external debts have been increasing as well, which may directly impact the forex reserves of the country. From $70.7 billion in 2020 to $90.8 billion in 2021, total debts have plummeted to 28.4%, which is caused mostly due to the growth in short-term loans. This increasing short-term loans poses a great threat to the economy, especially to the reserves, which currently is hovering around $36 billion, and consequently foreign investors are reluctant to provide long-term loans. Power generation expenditure has taken a sharp price from BDT 2.50 to BDT 10 in the last 13 years, driven by the surge in the import of liquid fuel price amid the volatility in the global energy market. In addition to that, government has gradually been shifting from gas-based to oil-based power plants, which increases the cost burden even though gas-based power plants ensure cost-effective solutions. In this scenario, BPDB has yet to clear the power purchase use, which can ease the agony by rationalizing different tax layers on electricity. That's all for today. We will be back again tomorrow with more updates on Taka Stock Exchange. Follow LR Global on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.